Okay, standard disclaimer. I am not a machinist, gunsmith, or welder, so probably doing this bass backwards and completely wrong, so don't try this. Okay, it's all cooled off now. And for the most part, I mean, weld seems good. You know, I got a bunch of turds to grind off or turn off. I decided not to weld the crack in the back here on the inside. Uh, quite a bit of metal there. This crack, when I welded on this side, I actually got it hot enough that I welded most of the way through. Um, I'm going to turn the inside and see what it looks like. Hopefully it's good enough that I don't have to do any more to it. I'm just a little gun shy <laughs> on this one. You know, I want to do as little as possible. That looks to be running pretty true. Uh, what do I have for boring bars? That's probably going to be the closest I have. That one's way too big. Okay. So I'm going to have to go with this boring bar. And the root question I have is. The thing I'm most concerned about is this is an interrupted cut. If I snag one of these edges, I'm gonna either snap this bit or really tweak the crap out of this thing. So where's my holder? To do, to do, to do, Allen Wrench. I'm gonna have to slide my steady rest over, I think. Oh, one nice thing about having this hole in it. Oh, actually, I do have enough. So I wanna set this so I just clear the end of where I need it turning so you know basically lock that guy right there this holiday get the floors you want by giving the tools they need at lumber liquidators get big coupon savings including 20% off all okay got that locked in Start out by doing this by hand. And save on even more unheard of deals only at your local store. Hurry, sale is going on now. So visit lumberliquidators.com today and find a store near you. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. Yeah, this this is just basically really a pain in the ass to get set up. So let's do that. Spin it back. I know where my biggest point is, is right about the largest gift is for kids six and under and those in high school. So I'm just gonna slowly crank it back until I hear it hit. Yeah, it looks like this is off center. With dance lessons from the Blue Moon Ballroom, you can move comfortably and confidently on the So I was kind of afraid of that. Sixty-one percent off with sweetjack.com. So to take off enough to
clean that up, I'm going to dig a big groove in this side, which I don't really want to do. So I'm going to probably leave that as is and just hand grind inside a little bit and hope for the best. Get my, my handy dandy Dremel tool here. Okay, so as far as I can tell, it looks like it penetrated all the way through, which is goodness. Next, I'm going to take off as much excess weld as I can with just a cutoff wheel, just to cut down the amount of work I have to do on the lathe. to heat up so move on to a different spot or not Okay, so that cut down quite a bit of the work right there just by grinding that down. Reassemble this. Now there's a sharp point. Let's see it. One of those two holes was 1032, I do believe. I'm not going to turn the full length of this. So, just using a standard pan head screw is good enough. I just want to lock these two together. Okay, there's my spot. There's my spot. Yeah, this was kind of a waste, but meh. Put that back. Put this guy back. And this guy back. Now, like I said last time, this is a very sharp point where this has a larger radius on it. So I'm going to switch to this, this insert. So I'll just take me a second. Okay. And I'll put this insert back on here just so I don't lose it. And the drawer goes. Okay, so that's locked. And we're 
back into the same setup. when I originally did this. So. Yeah, I screwed up the button a little. That seems like a good Obviously, I need to tighten that up. Yeah, I touched off a little too close, but so be it. Yeah, I'm gonna actually uh, see. Just so I can keep track of where I've been. that manually for the first few passes and the last pass will automatic slow and steady Ooh, about 13 thousandths not a whole lot there but Take off quite a bit on this side. Uh, what I forgot to do. Okay, let's get this. Right there looks to be a high spot in the barrel. So let's go another. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Either it was perfectly true or more than likely maybe it was off center. Oh, the good news is after this cleanup pass. Well, this is where it wasn't true. Yeah, it's on this side, so this should just all be smoothed into one nice clean surface, I hope. Definitely not taking any more off the barrel, off of that middle. May hit this end again. Go for auto mode.
trying to finish, I can get off of this. Okay, I think I'm done in the center section. And it looks like I could put pretty good fusion into the base metal, so that should be pretty decently strong. At least that's my hope. Took a little more finish off than I wanted to, but eh, it's gonna need to be refinished no matter what. Now I do want to take some more off of this end and get rid of this blump. So let's take another ten thousandths off. Well, go a little farther. 15, 20, okay, right, back off 10. Slightly past the end of that weld. That's how that looks. Apparently, there's a high spot right there. As compared to right here. We're going to have to take quite a bit off in order to get this trued up. Now this is the tail end of the receiver. Nothing bolts to it. It just needs to hold the sh split shut. So I'm not too concerned taking off more.